This video will show you step by step how to create a digital signage broadcast using NovaSign software as a service. From the website, go to the sign up button and click the sign up button. When the page reloads, enter in your email, choose a password, a first name, a last name, and the company name. Check off the terms of service and click join. Once you finish signing up, you will automatically enter the online application. You have several tabs across the top. Under the playlist tab, here you can create or manage a playlist or campaign that can broadcast to a screen. Under the creative tab, you can create or manage creative files here, files that will be used to create the playlist that will later broadcast them to the screens. Under the screens tab, here it holds the inventory of the physical screens. And under the groups tab, here you can create and manage group screens so that you can later broadcast them all at once. Every new user can enjoy sample creative, sample playlist, and a screen. You can change this template and broadcast it to your screen or just learn from it and create your own. To start a new campaign, we recommend the following steps. Go to the Creative tab and click Add Creative. Then click the Browse button and navigate to your creative. Select your file, then click Open. Then click the Create button. For this example, we're uploading JPEG and .png files, but you can upload any number of other type of media files, such as movie files with the FLV or .mov extension, as well as flash files with the .swf extension. So we're going to continue uploading the rest of our creative. Click Browse, select the next image, then Open, then click Create. Browse, select the next image, and open, and create. And same for the final image, add creative, browse, open, and create. After we upload our media files under creative, we will go put together a playlist that can later be broadcast to the screens. To create a playlist, we go to the playlist tab, then click Add Playlist. Give the playlist the name and a description. Then click Add Creative to see all the creator that you recently uploaded. All we need to do then is drag and drop the creative that you just uploaded into the creative area. So one by one we can just drag and drop. You can rearrange any of the elements by simply clicking and dragging. You can also adjust the timing by clicking on the seconds. Five is the default. In this case, we're going to make the last frame eight seconds long. Three is the minimum and hit enter. All you need to do then is click create. So after we have added the four creatives and created a playlist from them, we would like to broadcast it to a screen. To create the identity of the screen, we will need to define the screen in the system to get the ID or URL link to it. Set up a new screen by going to the Screens tab, then click Add Screen. Give the new screen a name and description. Then drag the playlist onto the appropriate area. Your screen options on the, on the screen group is for advanced. Then click create. Your new screen is now configured. You can click on the link to get a preview of what it would look like on your PC. Click on the let's roll button. and you can see all of the screens cycle through.
we go back to the dashboard. You can now watch this anywhere by double clicking on the link or the screen and clicking on the send to email button. This will open up your email software and attach the link where you can include the person at the store's email address so that it can be viewed on any screen that was previously connected to the internet. So you can insert the person's address here, click the send tab, and you're all set. Thank you and good luck.